Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a simple hover effect for you today. We've got an image here. When we roll over it, it's going to zoom in like that. And if we click on it, it's going to open into a light box. Really simple to do. We've got to write one tiny little line of code for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video. You're welcome to copy and paste it as you need. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, and if I go down, I've got a section here, the blue tab, with a row, the green tab, and inside I've got two columns. I'm going to add a new module to this column, the dark button over here. I'm using a Divi image module for this today. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll also give you another dozen modules to help display your products. The one I want to use today is a simple image module right here. So I'm going to left click on that and it's popped it into our column there. Great. Well, let's choose an image. Let's go ahead and put that city one in perhaps this time. Now to make it pop out into a light box, we can go down below in the link box here and you can flip that to on and it'll pop out into a light box like the one I showed you earlier. If you'd rather have it link to something like a URL or another web page or something, you can put your link in here, but you can have one or the other, not both there. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, open the link in the same window. If you're linking off site, open the link in a new tab. OK, so I want my light box on for this today. Right. So what do we actually want it to do? Well, if we go over to our design, what I want to do is have it like that. And then when we hover over it, I want it to zoom in on this tower in the middle here. If you want to do it the other way around, have it zoomed in and have it zoomed out, just do the opposite of what I'm doing. And to create this effect today, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to transform. And down here, we've got a few little tabs. And the first one is transform scale, so we can boost it up. But I only want it to transform on hover. Now, common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's an arrow, like there is in this case, we can click on it and it'll give us an option to set one setting for the desktop when your mouse is not on it and one setting for hover when your mouse is on it. So when we hover over it, I want this to be huge. So I've got scale here, which means grow or shrink. I'm going to take mine up to say 400%. So I'm just going to type 400 in there. And we've got this huge version of the image right there. When we're not hovering over it, we've got the regular picture like that. As long as you've got this little chain checked here, it'll do both sides at once for you. If you want to do separate width and height, you can just uncheck that chain, but that's good for us today. Great, so we set our hover state there. And when we hover over it, it's going to get huge like this. Now, I don't want to see that whole thing. I still want it to stay within the footprint of the original image. And the time it takes to go from one to the other by Divi defaults 300 milliseconds. I'm going to slow mine down for a bit of drama. If you want to slow your down or even speed it up, pop over to the advanced tab, go down to transitions. There's the default 300. I'm going to take mine up to, let's slow it down real slow. I'm going to say one second or 1000 milliseconds. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as their mouse hits it. Transition speed curve, I'm going to leave it on ease. A lot of the time I'll use ease in out for my hover effect. These are all slightly different, various situations. Some will work better than others, but ease is going to work just fine for this today. Great. Well, we've got that. And if I just hover over this and put a hover state on. So let's say this, but when we hover on this image, it just gets huge. And I don't want to see that. I still want it to remain within a reasonable footprint here. To make that happen, let's go into our row and restrict our column. So I'm going to click in the middle here. I'm going to go into the row, the green tab, the little cog there. There's our two little columns, left and right. Left one there, right one here, obviously. We're working on the right one. I'm going to go in there. And here's where our little bit of CSS comes in. I'm going to roll over to the Advanced tab. I'm going to go to Custom CSS. I'm going to roll down. And for the main element, I'm going to restrict its height. 
and for mine today I'm going to give it about 300 pixels here on desktop so say height 300 pixels and you won't see any change because we've made that column this high but that image is spilling out of it so to make sure that nothing spills out especially when we hover over it and it gets large so it gets contained within our 300 here I'm going to roll down I'm going to go to visibility and horizontal and vertical overflow I'm going to hide those I'm going to change them both to hidden when I do this you'll see that little bit at the bottom disappear so we're going to hide that it's gone and we're also going to do the vertical so we don't have a slider here okay well we've got our image the right size it's going to when we hover over it it's going to zoom in we've restricted our column and we've turned it into a light box so make sure that this thing is going to work let's save the changes save the road changes go down to the little purple button at the bottom save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder there's our little image when I hover over it it's going to take a second to zoom in and you can make this as slow or as fast as you want and when we click on it it's going to pop out into that light box there and that's a great little feature to have on your site if you wanted to you could actually zoom in on a specific building or the spire or something like this and I'll quickly show you how to do that in case you want to zoom into a particular area let's say this bottom corner of this image right here let's go back in there and we'll go down we'll go back in there and let's say we want to hover over this bottom corner we want it to zoom in on this bottom corner I'll show you how to do that we'll go back into the module the dark tab I'm gonna go back over to the design I'm gonna go down to transform again now it's the hover state we want to affect this in we want it to zoom into a particular place so let's get the hover state up and it's going to zoom in now if we go to the next box over here translate we did the size with the scale there we can go to translate so if I want that bottom right corner I've got to take it over to the right hand side make sure we don't go off the edge of the image right there there we go and there's the chase bank let's focus on that chase bank right there I don't know if you can see that so the image is now going to zoom in straight to that chase bank right there a little advert for them let's just save this now and remember we're on the hover state and we're in the next little box here for transform translate that basically means move so this will enable us to zoom and then move you can rotate you can skew and you can transform origin as well but let's just save this this should work for us today we'll save our page changes again and exit the visual builder now we've got our little image there we've got that tower on the bottom right hand side the chase bank when I hover over it, it should zoom in on that there we go we zoomed in on the chase bank and you can slow that down as gradual as you want but that's a great little feature to have on your site and of course again when we click on it it's gonna pop out into the light box right there so there you go guys there's a nice little image zoom effect with direction if you need it this is just a regular one right here so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thank you for watching have a great day